हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर सचिन कोठावदे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द इंडियन ड्रग प्रोडक्ट इन ओवरसीज मार्केट दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड टू द रेगुलेटरी साइंस फॉर फाइनल ईयर बी फॉर्म स्टूडेंट्स सेमिस्टर एट introduction now india it comes under the asian market and india is a global leader in the supplier for the generic drugs that is 20 to 22% of the global volume and india is the third largest one in the pharma sector by means of the volume and 13th one by the largest one by means of the value and india is a leading country in the global manufacturing and the research of generic medicines which will contribute near about 70% of the global market advantages for indian pharmaceutical industry <coughs> the e government policies of india government of india that pharma vision 2020 which is having a objective to make the india as a global leader for complete manufacturing of the drugs then second one is increasing the investment in the private sectors for r&d research and development and the last one that the low cost of the production and increasing the expenses on the research and development so this is the most important thing that government of india is focusing on the research and development which will uh, help the uh, we can say that pharma sector to become a global leader in uh, we can say that uh, vision or pharma vision 2020 now what do you mean by overseas market overseas market means what the uh, foreign countries and these countries we call in regulatory affairs as a markets so they are classified as regulated markets for example usa canada europe etc and second one is semi regulated markets for example asian gulf countries and african countries etc the next is the procedure for export of the pharmaceutical products now before export of the pharmaceutical products that indian products needs to be get registered and approved prior to the export now export means the selling of the drugs and the pharmaceutical products to the other countries without any trade barrier and crossing the geographical frontier there are some rules and acts responsible for import and export of the pharmaceutical products that is drug and cosmetic act 1940 and rules 1945 drugs price control order 1995 medicinal and toilet preparation act 1956 pharmacy act 1948 narcotic and psychotropic substances act 1985 and drugs and magic remedies act 1954 now there are some documents required for the export of the drugs from india which includes covering letter import export code number given by dgft now what is dgft dgft is a directorate general of foreign trade now dgft organization is an attached office of the ministry of commerce and industry and it is headed by director general of foreign trade that is called as dgft dgft means directorate general of foreign trade now from that we'll uh, get import export number iec the next is the purchase order manufacturing license pro forma invoice indent custom clearance certificate registration certificate certificate of analysis gst consignment sample pre shipment sample department of economic affairs so these are the documents required for the export 
of pharma, uh, of the drugs from india now the next is flow chart for export of the pharmaceutical products so it will these figures will explain that uh, in a simple way how that export of the pharmaceutical products will take place apply for iec number iec stands for import export code number which is given by dgft directorate general of foreign trade register your product get the approval for export from dcgi finalize the shipping method and receive the purchase order and prepare the commercial in invoice then steps involved for export of pharmaceutical products apply for iec number get the customer means contact the countries interested in the importing of the drugs register the drug product in the country where you are going to export get the dcgi approval for exporting now what is dcgi dcgi is the drug controller general of india dcgi okay so <coughs> finalize the shipping method receive the purchase order from the country which is importing and send the invoice with complete product details sign the contract with the agency of the importing country pre shipment inspection and export of the product now important one requirements to apply for iec now this is the first and prior and important step for the export of the pharmaceutical product iec means import export code number which is given by dgft now for that you will require a current bank account pan card and iec application fee receipt which is of 250 rupees iec number is given to the applicant will be remain same for all the branches or the divisions that means for it is or we can say that you will get a single iec number for all your branches for which you are going to export your different products now when exporting to the overseas market one should be carefully manufacture the products and comply with all the standards of the importing countries without fail in production packaging labeling instructions as approved by the importing country that means you have to uh, comply with that all that uh, standards required by the importing country then inspection it is done at the various stages of manufacturing by the importing country the exporter should register his or her facility or the unit as export worthy then inspection will be done and the approved and notified export inspection agency from time to time and the inspection report should be maintained carefully once the applicant get the order copy and confirm the invoice of the product is ready to export but before that it is the important step has to pass the quality control pre shipment inspection now before export that it has to pass the quality control pre shipment inspection now once the product is ready for dispatch it has to be inspected by assistant drug controller adc assistant drug controller adc should get and he should get a clearance from that adc clearance certificate and adc will verify all the commercial documents such as copy of commercial invoice copy of letter of credit details of packaging specifications copy of contract order license certificate of pharmaceutical product certificate of analysis and pre shipment sample on the time of export adc will verify all the necessary documents and check the samples which is given and usually that adc sample will be five in numbers and if he gets any doubt he may ask for the consignment sample and he will check and reseal the reseal it and issue a adc clearance certificate and custom custom clearance certificate thereby ready for export now your product will be ready for export after all this Uh, we can say that formalities which is completed then and these are all these are requirements for iec import export code number